Hi and welcome, this is Sharon Goulet from Digital Nomad Wannabe and today I'm going to quickly go through for you the, how I use Longtail Pro. Okay, I have a few videos on this site where I go into detailed explanations about how I use it to find things like the competitiveness of a keyword. But today I just wanted to give you an overall overview to help you decide whether it's a good product for you or if you've already bought it just to help you hit the ground running. Now after you have it installed and you've inserted your license key and everything else, you'll end up in here. Now the first thing you need to do is create a project. Okay, so I've already created one here called Example Project. But all you do is click here on the plus, give the project a title, so you'd probably give it a relevant name. So say um, for this example, I'm going to pretend I'm writing an article on Penang, so I might call it Penang article. Um, you do need to pick a country, so where your main target audience is, um, a different language than English if that's the case, and then create project. Now once you've done that, you'll end up here. Now from here you have two choices. You can go look at individual keywords and see their top 10 results. Or you can go get a whole lot of keywords on your topic. Okay, so we can go find keywords to get as many keywords as we can. And this is basically what you would do in Keyword Planner, but with lots of filtering and some options. So say I'm doing this one on Penang, so I might say Penang Attractions, because that's what I'm going to write about. So we'd add that and any other C word we want, maybe things to do in Penang. Okay, so there might be some seed, uh, seed keywords for us. So they're what Longtail Pro will use to find hundreds of other keywords. And then we have lots of things we can filter. Um, you don't have to do any if you don't want because you can filter it once this is finished. Um, but if you want to do it beforehand, if you know some things about what you might want to look for, like maybe you just want to ignore everything that's um, less than 50, so you could put that there. Although I'd probably put that for global searches. Um, also, number of words is one you might want to filter. Okay, because I don't think you're ever going to care about an individual keyword for an example. You know, if just Penang was returned to us, that's not helpful. So we want ones that are at least um, two words long. Now, global search volume, that's the main thing I change in here. So I'll usually include that. And this is where I'd put the minimum. So maybe like 50 minimum for global searches. Now, I just simply click this button and it will go get me lots of keywords. Uh, quite often, you have to uh, enter your password for Google. But it will go away now and work this all out. So I just paused that um, while it ran. My internet connection is quite slow. And if you're searching for a lot, this it does usually take a minute. Um, so what you can see now is basically all these keywords. So you can see Penang Attractions, Penang Hotel, Hotel in Penang. Can move this over a bit so we can see it better. Um, so all these keywords are here, so all these example keywords, you can search through to find your, your prime one. Um, you can also just look at the ones that came back from Penang Attractions individually or things to do in Penang. Um, now if you want to see the top 10 search results for any of these, um, you just simply click on it. If I click on activities in Penang. Okay, it'll bring up the top 10. Okay, so that's the top 10 search results in Google. Now, because we set this project as United States, that so will be in the United States. Okay, so we can see all of that. And um, we can use any of these top things here to filter out ones. Um, one that I can find useful is by keyword. You know, for example, I wouldn't want anything that didn't have Penang in it. So just typing like Penang at the top here will get rid of anything that doesn't have Penang. You know, most of them will, but it will get rid of some. And just make your life a bit easier. Now the other way you can see the top 10 search results is just simply to type it in here. Okay, so say I wanted to look up things to do in Penang directly, I could just type it here and it will bring up the top 10 as well as tell me how many searches there are and some other information. Okay, so you can see the top 10 that way too. So this is how you can look for the competitiveness of keywords. You can simply type it in here or you can use it from finding keywords. Okay, so you don't have to do the finding keywords if you don't want to. You can just set up a project and come in here and see the top 10. Now that's still just loading because like I said, my internet's not very good. Um, but the other functionality that I use in Longtail Pro, so they're the two basic ones. Um, the other thing is this rank checker that I find really useful. And this is how I check how I'm going in the rankings for some of my main keywords. So once a month, I'll actually go through and check all my main keywords and, and see whether I'm going better, worse, whatever, and try and learn from that. Um, for example, so I can just type in my URL at the top here. So it's already defaulted to where Sharon.com for me. 
Um, say I want to see how my Bali with Kids article is going. I can just click Add for that. Now I have some choices. I can select what country I want to know for. So we have the United States, but for my Bali article, I care way more about my Australian ranking. So I look at that. Um, and you can add as many as you want. So I could keep going. I could add some more. So say if I wanted to know Penang with Kids too. Um, or anything else, you can just keep adding and then it will go work it all out. Now, because it can't just hit Google constantly, this can take a minute sometimes. It depends exactly where you're ranking. Because I was one and two, that was very fast. Um, but if you're a bit further back, like if you're like, you know, 255, that does just take a little bit of time to process. Um, but yeah, that's an easy way to find out how you're currently ranking in Google for some of your keywords. So yeah, basically that's it. This is how I use Longtail Pro. I mean, it seems really simple and straightforward and that's because it is. Um, but it is very powerful being able to do all these things as well and it's certainly helped my keyword research a lot. So anyway, just uh, post any questions in the comments below and I'll get back to you. Thanks for listening.